All right. Another Mad Media Monday come to a close and early in the morning. I'm thrilled. I'm moved in. I'm, you know how moving is. Got my, got my, hopefully the sound sounds better. You, you see, see this? If you're watching on the, on the YouTube thing, I got a microphone cover. I, I used to have that black disc thing. You might have seen it. So this is the pop filter. I, I did a few videos last week with the without the pop filter and it was popping. So I'm getting set up and I'm happy. You know, I, I, I had something happen this week over here in Asia. Now, if, if you're one of the awesome new subscribers on my YouTube channel, I do vlogs and podcasts. This is the overlap. So is the point. It's about a minute, 100 words every week that has a blue screen behind me. The green screen podcast weekly up in the corner is the overlap. This goes to both the podcasting audience and YouTube. Other stuff is separate. Other videos on YouTube are going to be different. And then there's the podcast series, which are only available in podcasts like Stitcher, iTunes, you know, like in the podcast places. So jesse.coffee is a central place to get stuff. Go there, subscribe on Patreon. I did something this week. In fact, I just did this like an hour ago. Patreon, $1.00. Limited first 500 only, and you get Discord rules with it. So, only 500. Jesse.coffee, you can buy shirts like the one that I'm wearing. And that was the deal this week. Now, a few weeks ago, I was jabbering on about life coaching stuff, which, not that I need it, but I'm getting this life coaching certification thing because these types of conversations keep coming up. Okay, so here I am talking with my buddy about something in Asia. I'm going to get more into the details in the Taiwan special, which is a podcast. You won't find that on YouTube. But I was, I was talking with my friend about what I think is coming in the future. I, I mean, I don't know how well you know me, but I live in the world of tomorrow. For me, next year has already happened. For me, Trump has already been reelected and has finished his second term in Jesse world. And I'm thinking about what comes after. I, I, you know, I, I, I don't know how to say, see, I, I talk that way and people think I'm weird. They think, they, they think I'm, I'm hopeful. Like, like, like it's, like I say, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Trump's gonna get reelected, and then we got to then we probably should get the People's Party started because without him to go up against the Republican establishment, Republicans will have too much power, and that establishment will come back in, and so we got to have People's Party. And I start talking and game planning for after Trump finishes his second term, the 2024 election, and people are going, why would you want that? Or, or I, I, I talk about something that I'm convinced is gonna happen in the future, and I'm very, very often right. Pacific Daily Times. I predicted Trump's election. I mean, me talking about what I think is going to happen in the future is not a ridiculous thing. Like, this is a thing. I live in the world of tomorrow. I see stuff coming. I'm not like a gene. Like, I, I can't like see it in a crystal ball, but a lot of things are just, they make sense to me. Like, what's coming? This is a thing about, you want to understand Jesse Steele? Jesse Steele lives the day after tomorrow. For, for me, tomorrow is history. I already know what it's going to be. I don't know why. I, I always say the reason I know what's coming in the future, you know, the, the way to get foresight is to have hindsight. The horizon in front of you is not much farther away than the horizon behind you. So if you learn to look at history and understand, learn from it, then in the foreseeable future, that's easy to understand. A smoke on the horizon. Hello, I know what that means. It means something's on the other side of the horizon. Dust on the horizon. Well, that's a lot of motion. It's a stampede. It's an army. It's a mo- you know, something's going on. So I just, it, it, it doesn't take a lot for me to figure this out. So I start talking about, it. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, army over there. Like, how can you say, like, you can't, and they get all mad and offended. And I'm like, dude, when the ground starts shaking and you hear the sound of a semi truck approaching and you know that there's an enormous busy road right around the corner, it's it's not absurd to say that there's a semi truck coming down the road. It's in fact, it's absurd to say that you can't say that that's what's absurd. You know, that's an apple tree. Apples grow on it and fall off of it every year. Deer walk under it and eat it. And it happens every year, beginning in April. Well, guess what? It's March. And I'm not ridiculous for saying that in a month there's going to be apples and 
deer and stuff, and that's going to start. You know, there's stuff that's just obvious to me, and for whatever reason, it's not obvious to a lot of people. I live in the world of tomorrow. For me, the question of life is to foresee or not to foresee. You know, to foresee or not foresee, that is the question. So, you know, that kind of guided me in, in see, th th this is who I am. This is, this is Jesse. You, you watch the videos here, you're, you're going to get a peek into tomorrow. You're going to get a, th th that's part of who I am. And again, I'm not always right. I'm, I'm not necessarily this, this prophet who lives in heaven and, and look, looks back. I just, I, I know how the cow chews the cud and how the cow crosses the street and I stay immersed in news and economics and I live in Asia. This, you know, it's already tomorrow for me, literally. I mean, it's, it's about 8.30 a.m. here on Monday and it's, it's 8.30 p.m. for people on the East Coast on Sunday. So I, all right, all right, not enough about me, you know, crying and whining about the hard life of someone who lives in the world of tomorrow. But I'm talking to my friend about what's going on tomorrow and 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 he starts um well, well, well I'll try to try to summarize this we realize good friend okay but people try to get under your skin with stuff and that's that's kind of a thing it's like you know you've got to know it if someone disagrees with you they're not going to say oh, i disagree with you they're going to be like why would you say that? You know, like like they'll try to come at it at an angle and you've got to see it when it's happening. And if you see it when it's happening, you can avoid a fight. Like, oh, okay, he's disagreeing with me and he's doing it in a sloppy way because he hasn't learned how to have clean debates. All right, he's my friend. Uh, you know, all right, I see it. He does and he doesn't need to. I saw it. Well, uh, it sounds like we disagree about something. You know, you can say that and be friendly about it then you might just stop an argument and keep a friend or have a, have a happier conversation just because you did that. You know, so I, you know, I, I was, I was talking about future stuff and um, I kind of don't want to ramble off, ramble on and rabbit trail into different things, but he's going, he's like, Jesse, you know, it's really important to be polite. And I'm like, wait, what? How did we, how did we get there? You know? And, and I'm, and, and it's a friendly conversation. But how, how did we get, like, I'm talking about what's going to happen in the future. He's like, I mean, the, Jesse, I'm not worried. I'm like, uh, I'm not either. Why are we talking about what we're worried? Of course we're not worried. I mean, the future. You know, and I'm talking about, you know, war and happiness and all this type of stuff that's coming. Like, there's a war coming. I don't know if you know that or not. You have to be a genius. And happiness is coming after it. You know, it's like the cartoon. Ahead of you is much trouble. Yeah, yeah, so I've heard. But beyond the trouble is great light. Uh-huh, so I've heard. Yep, you know. Like, that's kind of obvious for anyone, right? Most people can't accept the fact that they have both darker and brighter days ahead. Where Whoever you are, wherever you are in your life, there are days ahead that are darker than you've seen and brighter than you've seen. Both of them are there for you. Most people do don't believe that because they can't stomach it. For me, I live in the world of tomorrow and I live in a world of turbulence. Tomorrow, my friends, is turbulent. And that doesn't bother me. I'm like, yeah, yeah, tomorrow's going to be war and all kinds of crazy stuff. It's going to be great. I'm going to be happy, probably sipping on, my, sipping on my Pepsi, watching it happen because it doesn't bother me. And other people are like, war, that's... What are we going to do? Like, because they can't stomach tomorrow. I think that's right there, a reason people don't know what's... They don't want to see what's coming in the future because they can't stomach it. So, my buddy's like, you know, I, I mean, I, he's like, you got to be polite, Jesse. And I'm, and I'm like, what? How did we get there? So, I talked to him. There, I finally found out what, what's going on is he isn't comfortable talking about what's happening in the future because that's making an assumption. And assumptions are making prejudgments and, and that's judgmental stuff. And being judgmental isn't polite. So, he's going to teach me about how to be polite. You know, that's what's... <laughs> so, this is... All right, so I figured it out, and I said, "Oh well, okay, all right." And I kind of heard him out. That's what I, you know, you got a point. That's right. We should be polite. We should be polite. That's what we should be. That's right. So that was my conversation. We should be polite. Be polite. I saw that coming. 